Hi, mathematics lovers. Today, you are going to learn how to solve problems involving factors of polynomials. So, stay tuned. In solving problems involving factors of polynomials, remember the following. Number one, write an equation that represents the given information. To help you figure it out, draw a picture or a diagram. Number two, follow the rules of polynomial equation by factoring. This means that you need to place all polynomials on one side of the equation and set it equal to zero, following the zero product property. The zero product property states that if AB is zero, then either A is zero or B is zero or both. And number three, check the reasonableness of answers. This means that you have to discard solutions that do not make sense. Say for example, time and distance cannot be negative. Let's have now the examples. Number one, the total cost C is represented by the expression 2x squared plus 3x plus 1. Factor this expression. 2x squared plus 3x plus 1 is a trinomial of the form ax squared plus bx plus c, wherein a is greater than 1. So we will factor this using the ac method. And the factors are 2x plus 1 and x plus 1. Now, to check, multiply 2x plus 1 by x plus 1. 2x times x is 2x squared. 2x times 1 is 2x. 1 times x is x. 2x plus x is 3x, and that is the middle term. 1 times 1 is 1. So we have uh, correct factors. Number two, the length of a rectangle is two inches longer than thrice its width. The area of the rectangle is 33 square inches. Find its dimensions. So let's have the rectangle. So the given area is 33 square inches. Now, since there is no information given about the width of the rectangle, we will let x be the width. And the length, according to the problem, it is 2 inches longer than thrice its width. So we have 3x plus 2. Now, the formula for the area of rectangle, we have a is equal to lw. We now substitute the given. So our A is 33, L is 3x plus 2, W is x. Copy 33, applying the distributive property. 3x times x is 3x squared. 2 times x is 2x. Now place all the polynomials on one side of the equation setting the equation to zero. So we add negative 33 to both sides of the equation. So we have 3x squared plus 2x minus 33 is equal to zero. By the way, 33 equals 3x squared plus 2x is the same as 3x squared plus 2x equals 33. Now, we go back to the equation. 3x squared plus 2x minus 33 is equal to 0. Since our a is greater than 1, we will factor this using AC method. And the factors are 3x plus 1 and x minus 3. Applying the zero product property, 
we have 3x plus 11 is equal to 0, and x minus 3 is equal to 0. Here, our x is negative 11 over 3. We add negative 11 to both sides of the equation, so we have 3x is equal to negative 11. And solving for x, you have negative 11 over 3. Here, our x is 3. Now, we are talking about the dimension, dimensions. So we disregard negative 11 over 3. So our width is 3 inches. And our length is 3 times 3 is 9 plus 2 is 11. Again, our length is 11 inches and the width is 3 inches. To check, 11 times 3 is 33. 33 square inches and that is the given area. Number three, a rectangular garden has an area represented by 15x squared minus 4x minus 4 square meters and a length represented by 5x plus 2 meters. Find a binomial that represents the width. So we have here the rectangular garden. The area is... 15x squared minus 4x minus 4 square meters. The length is 5x plus 2 meters. So we are asked to find a binomial that will represent the, the width. We have the formula for the area of rectangle. A equals LW. Our A, our area, is 15x squared minus 4x minus 4. Our length is 5x plus 2. And we are asked to find the, the width, the, the binomial that will represent the width. One factor of 15x squared minus 4x minus 4 is already given. So to find the width, we divide 15x squared minus 4x minus 4 by 5x plus 2. It is equal to 3x minus 2. So for number 3, the binomial that will represent the width is 3x minus 2. To check... We, multi we multiply 5x plus 2 by 3x minus 2. The product is 15x squared minus 4x minus 4. Number 4. The volume of the rectangular box is x cubed plus 10x squared plus 31x plus 30 cubic inches. If its height is x plus 2 inches, how long are the length and the width? So let's have the rectangular box. Again, the, the volume of this rectangular box is x cubed plus 10x squared plus 31x plus 30 cubic inches. Now the height is x plus 2. So we are asked to find the length and the width of the rectangular box. We have the formula for the volume, V equals LWH. We now substitute the given. Our V is x cubed plus 10x squared plus 31x plus 30. So, we have copy LW and our H is X plus 2. To find LW for the, the length and the width, 
we divide x cubed plus 10x squared plus 31x plus 30 by x plus 2. So our LW is x squared plus 8x plus 15. And x squared plus 8x plus 15, if we factor it, we have x plus 5 and x plus 3. So we have the length and the width, quantity x plus 5 inches, and quantity x plus 3 inches. To check, we multiply x plus 2 by x plus 5 by x plus 3. It is equal to x cubed plus 10x squared plus 31x plus 30. And number five, the side of a square is m meters long. The length of a rectangle is three meters longer than the side of the square. And the width of the rectangle is three meters shorter than the side of the square, which has a greater area by how much? Let's have first the square. So we have the side of the square, it is m meters long. So the area here is m squared. m times m is m squared. Let's have the rectangle. The length of the rectangle is 3 meters longer than the side of the square. The side of the square is m. It is 3 meters longer, so we have m plus 3. And the width of the rectangle, since it is 3 meters shorter than the side of the square. So the side of the square is m minus 3, so you have m minus 3 as the width of the rectangle. Let's have the, let's get the area of the rectangle. It is m squared minus 9. Again, m plus 3 times m minus 3 is m squared minus 9. As you can see, the area of the square is greater than the area of the rectangle by 9 meters. Do you want some more? Answer the five problems in two minutes. After two minutes, solution for each problem will be presented. I hope you will get a perfect score. Are you ready?
Let's now answer. Number one, the number is zero or five. Number two, the numbers are negative nine and four. Number three, the measure of one side is 11 units. Number four, the number is negative two or zero or two. And number five, the value of quantity A plus B raised to two is 16. That's all for now, mathematics lovers. Don't forget all the things you have learned. Have fun in solving.